Hey plant friends, um, so today I'm going to put my uh, my philodendron on a pole. I have it mostly repotted. I need to um, pin this to the, the pole. Um, you can see, let's see, it's kind of hard, sorry. This, this top part is a uh, root and this is also an aerial root. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take some twine and just kind of lean it as far as I can so that way it will start to root in. Um, you can see a new leaf coming out right here out of the sheath. Looks like a claw, I love it. But this pole my husband got for me from Amazon and you can put another pole in the top. Um, right now, or you buy them in packs of two. Right now I do have another one that is going to put, that I'm going to put my uh, Monstera subpanata on after it starts to root out a bit more. So I'm going to take some twine that I use for wrapping gifts and just kind of pin it back and I'll set the camera back up for that. Okay so here what I here's what I did. I just tied this here and this here. I did double up the string to hopefully make it a little bit easier on the plant. I have never, I've never put anything on a pole before, so hopefully this works. I wanted to get the aerial roots so they are touching the pole. So hopefully it'll root back in nicely. It didn't really need a repot, but it did need a pole, um, and I didn't want to stab the pole through the roots. That is my black cardinal philodendron. Um, it looks a lot darker on screen in this light, but it's it's doing its thing. Hopefully it'll be fine, and hopefully I didn't kill it. So thanks for watching. Um, Hopefully it's fine. Um, hopefully, again, I didn't kill it. And hopefully I'll see you again in the next one. Uh, subscribe or don't. It'd be lovely to have you back. Um, and we can make plant mistakes together.